Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been about four and a half years since I've been here, but I'm back anyway, so I'm not gonna like spend ages going, where were you? I don't know, shut up. Um, I think it's time to do monthly favorites. It's been a long time since I've done monthly favorites. But I have some products here that I've loved over the past few months and I'm ready to report back. Are you ready? Let's do it. I'm cold. That makes me happy. Because this summer, I sweated the diddies off myself so hard. I know. Let's talk about foundation. I have loved this. This is the It Cosmetics CC Cream and it has like more words. It says, <coughs> Colour Correcting Full Coverage Cream and Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum Plus SPF 50 Plus UVA UVB Physical Sunscreen. So It Cosmetics recently launched into Arnott's into the beauty hall, which is just the happiest place on earth. It is gorgeous. I know, not even able for it. And when I first posted saying that it was coming, everyone was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I love this, love this, love this. And they sent me the shade Fair, which is the lightest shade. And I, did I do a blog post? I did do a blog post on that. Um, and I found that the Fair shade, the lightest shade, just had like a weird texture. It didn't melt into my skin the way this shade does. This is shade light, which is not the lightest. I know. I don't know. So fair is the lightest, light is the next lightest. Yeah, this is gorgeous. It just meshes with my skin perfectly. It makes it look like I have like really nice skin. I used to go through phases of wanting kind of matte skin, perfect looking skin. No, my skin isn't perfect. I just want to enhance what I have, that's all. Now this says that it's full coverage. It's not full coverage, not on me anyway. Maybe you could build it up I just haven't kind of felt the need to. And what I do is I'll put like one pump on the back of my hand and then use my next product, where is it? Oh, here, in a sec, um, to buff it in. And okay, I'll just show you now. Like, this is the thickest foundation brush ever in life. This is from Fuchsia and this is the 111 Jumbo Buffing Brush. Look at it. I know. So what I love about this is the fact that like it's really dense, but there's still a lot of movement in it. So when I dab it onto the back of my hand, I can just cover my face in about four seconds. That's not exact, but you know, uh, I love it. And um, yeah, so this gives really nice kind of, I would say medium coverage, looks like my skin. It gives a nice dewy finish, but without being really sticky, but I do need to set it on my oily bits because otherwise if I didn't, it would just go. I think those with dry skin would love it. These two are match made in heaven, but this also works with all of my foundations. I have been very active over on Instagram the last few months doing woman videos and kind of showing products in action. Not tutorials, not reviews, just this is what it looks like, this is how this works. And every time I show this, people are always going, what is that, what is that, what is that? It's this, it's great. I'll leave all the links below if you want to buy all the bits. And this washes really well, it hasn't shed, it keeps its shape, it's just deadly. I nearly was gonna curse, but I didn't. So they're fab together. We had the CC cream from It Cosmetics and now this is the next focus. This is the, I can't remember what it's called. So this is the Bye Bye Pores Poreless Finish Airbrush Powder in Translucent. Oh my God, it's really hard to say. Um, so initially they sent me the press version. I was like, okay, this is great, this is great. And then they gave me this in a goodie bag. And I was like, oh, hello, how are you doing? Nice to see you. I found in the past that with like powders like this, hold on, I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, hold on, can you see? And then it comes with this little puffy thing that you can like dab if you want. Or I just end up making a mess. I'll take the little puffy thing out, I'll pour some into the into the lid of the yogi bob. I can't think of the word, the pot. Then I'll get a big brush, swirl it around and pat everything. But what I like about this is the fact that you can't see it on the skin. I've tried powders like this before, you know, like the really finely milled ones like this, you know, like HD powders. And I just, they've been grand, but not kind of making me go, ooh, I love this so much. This works perfectly under the eyes. Now I don't have that many black circles and I'm sure there are people watching going, what are you talking about? Scarlet for your black circles. But I just don't like, I think there's about four concealers that I've tried over the years that I love that don't make here look really dry. But no matter what concealer I use, I have to set it. And it's just trying to find that combination. This goes over all of those concealers beautifully. Um, beautifully, oh, I, like, I feel like I haven't talked in ages. Um, so what I like to do is get a brush like this one. This is from Suzanne Jackson, or So Sue by Suzanne Jackson, the SD303. And what I like to do is, see this fits perfectly like under the eye and I would just like put it into the lid, go zhuzh, 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 and then pat it under there. And it's like I watch everything just disappear. I can't explain it, it's just so gorgeous. 
I definitely prefer this over the pressed version. Now the pressed version is just handier, it's less messy, the compact is bigger, but this just performs better on my skin. And I like to use this as well all over my T-zone. So again, I'll use the same brush and I go, <laughs> I bring it here. I always bring it here as well, because this is where I get oily. And I bring it along my smile lines, because I do be laughing all the time. And that kind of, should I put some on there? Even though I just put them on there with the ground, like. And it does make a bit of an L Harry Potter mess. I don't have concealer on today because like effort of life and everything. And I find once I use my CC cream and then I put this over the top, my makeup stays perfect all day. And I think this is one of those powders that looks nicer on my skin the more it's there. It's like, I don't know, does it combine with the oils as the oils come out of my face? I don't know. Love this powder. I had to give a little shout out, not a little one, because it's Whopper. This is new from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Chic to Chic Pillow Talk Blush. Look at it. I know. I have it on today and I'm just obsessed with it. Now recently Charlotte Tilbury came out with the Pillow Talk Blush and the Pillow Talk Eyeshadow Palette. I have the eyeshadow palette here. That's the eyeshadow palette. It is stunning. This is perfect for everyday wear and as well it kind of suits my eye colours as well. But enough about that. I have a blog post on the two of them. Go read it. I'll leave the link below. But the blush. The blush is just stunning. Now I have another one of her blushes. I just want to show you. Okay. So this is the other blush that I have of hers. And this is in the shade First Love. I bought this in London last year. And this is what a lot of the other blushes look like. The way the blush part is in the centre and then like the kind of highlighty bit is on the outside. And this is a great kind of neutral, easy to wear blush. But this. Hold on. But this, this has the blush part on the outside and then the highlight on the centre. When I wear this, oh my god, I can't even cope. It's like, it just brings my cheeks alive. Like, I have no highlighter on because I have this on. Oh look, what is that? Oh, that's that perfume. Hello. <laughs> um, so what I like to do is get a dual fibre brush and I swirl it around to pick up the colour on the outer ring and a little bit of the centre and just like swoosh it over my cheeks. And then I'll take that part and just like bring it ever so slightly here. And I just look healthy, fresh faced when I don't feel that way at all. And I'm going to make a very controversial statement. If I had to pick between this or this, pick this. It's just incredible. I don't think I have a blush like this in my collection at all. Like even the other one, even the first love one that I have. Um, it's just, it's the sheen. It gives radiance, it gives glow, it just gives this. Look at me, I know. I'm sure you're probably sick to the teeth because I do be talking about this a lot over on Instagram stories and Instagram and everything, but it's brilliant. This is from Wet n Wild and this is their Rosé in the Air palette. Look at it. I think this palette is 825 or 850. This shade totally goes up my clothes, but also this shade is worth the 8 euro. Um, I haven't really given this much love at all. The, these just have my heart, like look at them. They just, even like having them beside my eyes, makes my eyes look greener. Look, eyes, bonk. <laughs> um, this is so worth the money. This is one of the best budget eyeshadow palettes I think I've ever tried. Um, I know and I have everybody driven to mental talking about it all the time. If you want to see me having the chats about makeup every day, go follow me on Instagram. I'm quite active on there. Um, but yeah, if you can find this, Wet n Wild does be in Dunz's and Chemists Nationwide. If you go to the Wet n Wild Facebook page, I think they have a list of stockists. But um, these two shades, yep, this shade, yes. And I have to have a bit of everything. So that was a budget eyeshadow palette, less of a budget eyeshadow palette. This is from Anastasia, or as I had to say, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Look at it, goes in my clothes again. I bought this in France when we were there. And um, Catherine and I went to Provence. We were frolicking through the lavender fields, acting the absolute maggots. And then we were in one of the cities and I was like, I see a Sephora sign. Ooh. We went over and like the sweat was gushing out of my face. It was so hot there. Um, so we went into Sephora for a look, but also just to see. Um, we both bought this palette. This is the Soft Glam palette and it is gorgeous. Again, mix the mattes, mix the shimmers. These shimmers go on better like with my finger. It's like with the Charlotte Shelby palette. Um, and just, I don't know where the brush is. You know, they give you the brush and then you fall out like, and then you've lost it like, I don't even know what it looked like. But it's mostly a warm tone palette. That shade is quite beautiful. Oh, I just love it. I love it so much. I did see the Anastasia. Does that real posh thing like Anastasia? Anastasia. I saw her, the Norvina palette, the purple one. I don't think that that's for me. I don't think I get much wear out of it. But sure, listen, another warm palette. 
of course I need it. It's gorgeous. I do have a blog post, I think I do. And I also have a couple of the one minute videos on Instagram. I do loads of them, so go have a little look. Now the packaging is rubbish because it's beige kind of, what's that stuff called? Velvet, that's gonna get real messy, just saying. Had to give a little shout out to this from Benefit. This is the Brow Contour Pro and this is the shade. What's the shade? Or is it blonde light? Because I am a little bit blonde. Probably should need to get my blonde shushed up. So the idea behind this, again, I have a blog post on this, is that you have like little, the four little clicker bits. And um, so you have a light shade for your eyebrow. So you use that on from here to your arch. And then there's a dark one that you use from the arch to the tip. And then there is, where am I? A definer. It's like a cream color that you kind of draw out the outline of your brow and then you blend that out. And then there is a highlighter version. Highlight, I couldn't remember the name. That you just kind of put on the arch here and you blend that out. Okay. Not gonna lie, when I first saw this, I was like, yeah, what a gimmick, like. And I thought that the pencil was quite chunky compared to what I'm used to, because, hold on. Let me see what I, oh, it does focus. So, see the way, it's kind of like chunky, but it's deadly. I've gotten deadly brows every, every single time I use this. My brows look great. You put the thingy down and then you twist this part, it brings the product up out of the pencil. And in terms of formula, it's more of like a cream formula instead of a dry pencil. And I'm used to the micro pencils, which is even smaller than this, but I can still get great control, great precision with this. I love it. One more makeup thing, and this will come as no surprise to anybody who follows me on Instagram. I know, I'm sorry, I'm like a broken record, but that's where I do be like. This from L'Oreal. This is the Unlimited Mascara. Again, I thought this was gonna be an absolute gimmick. The idea is, go like that, and then you can, oops, go like that if you want to get like the lower lashes or get the outer lashes as well. I don't really use, it bent. I like when it's straight. Did you miss me? I know, I'm dirty. This mascara is the best one, I think, that L'Oreal has ever brought out. It is one of my favourite budget mascaras. It doesn't flake, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't move, it doesn't transfer. It is just brilliant. It gives incredible volume. And I remember getting ready at work one of the days and I had like the Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette on and then I put this on one eye and I was like showing the girls and they are like, oh my god. And I was like, I know, I know. So it's products like these that make me never want to get eyelash extensions because I get effort and because I get to like try out things like this. It's just so good. So good. So yeah, if you want to use it for the gimmicky thing, off you go. You don't have to. It's fab. Another thing that I've been loving this month is from Ella and Joe. This is a 3-in-1 Hyaluronic Skin Mist. So it says on the back here, Ella and Joe Hydrating Spray. It's soothing facial spritz with extracts of chamomile, cucumber, witch hazel, aloe vera, aloe vera, I was going to say aloe vera, aloe vera. Um, and green tea. So what I like to do is in the morning, in the evening, when I cleanse my skin, I spritz this over my face. It has like one of these mists, hold on, look in this area. Do you know, it has like a really fine mist rather than like a, <coughs> there's nothing worse than when you go like that and then it just spits in your face. This gives a really nice fine mist all over the face. Um, you can use this under makeup, you can use it over makeup, you can use it throughout the day. I like leaving this on my desk. So that you know the way you're just like, oh my God, I feel scaldy, I look scaldy, I feel like I need a refresh. Spritz this on and it smells gorgeous. It hydrates the skin, it has hyaluronic acid, which just helps plump out your face. That's all you want, that's all I want. Cause otherwise like, I'd be withered. I know I love it. And it's an Irish company as well, so that's the icing on the cake and it's a gorgeous product, love that. It's just, it's a good one to have kind of in your handbag or if you're going traveling, put that, it's how many mils, it's 100 mils. Um, throw this in the fridge as well, do you know? Like a little bit of like zhuzh zhuzh. It's coming into autumn and winter and that means that my lips are gonna be scaldy all the time. This is the best lip balm that I've ever tried. It's from Glossier. They gave this one to me along with, I can't remember, the rose one maybe, I'm not sure, which I brought to France and I left it in the airport. No, I didn't. I left it in the hotel the first night that we were staying in Nice and I was raging, so annoyed. But um, yeah, so I'm trying to like ration this one out, but it's like, I think it's 11 or 12 euro. It is so worth it. When I tell you that, like my lips are so dry, dry, dry. I tried all the lip balms out there. I found some good ones. This is better. There's nothing wrong with this. Like I've tried the one before from Blistex. Like it was 3.50, I think in, Tesco's or Boots um, and it has like that metallic tube that when you squeeze it out like a little bit comes out but then it just keeps going and it's just like oh my god like that stuff is brilliant but the packaging lets it down. The packaging is great on this it hasn't um, burst at all you know the way sometimes if you have metallic tubes this is a plastic one I think though um, that it can crack and then the stuff comes outside I'd be raging if that happened. 
I love wearing this at night before I go to bed. I wake up with real soft, plump, juicy lips. Happy days. Love that. Can't say anything wrong about it. It's brilliant. I think they have five or six different um, scent, scents, flavours. Scents or flavours. So I kind of want to try them all. I think there's a cherry one, but I think that'll be a bit too tinted for me. I just like this one. This is the birthday one and has a tiny little bit of sparkle in it as well, which is cute. If you have dry lips, try it out. The, you can only get the stuff from the Glossier website. There's no physical shop. I say in another month or so, I'm going to stock up. I'm kind of trying to use up bits before I repurchase them. Because I know what happen is if I buy new ones, I'll open them and I won't finish this. And I'm just, I know. And the final product is this. This is from Joyco. I love this. This is the Body Shake Texturizing Finisher. Plush volume for fine to medium hair. I know, it's like all the words. Um, first of all, packaging is gorgeous. Second of all, okay. See the way I have like a little bit of zhuzh in my hair? It's cause that like, look. I know. I have really silky straight hair. And I know everyone's like, oh my God, that's so good. No, it's pain in the hoop. Because no matter how much of volumizing shampoo I use, give it like an hour after I dry it and my hair is just like this. And then I look like a thumb. This gives oomph. And it just gives texture to the hair. What I like to do is on days where if I don't want to wash my hair, because like I have to wash my hair like most days because it just gets real greasy, um, I'll put a bit of dry shampoo in the roots, run it through, and then I'll add that into the ends. And it just gives texture, tussledness. Um, it's not sticky, like I can still run my hands through my hair. Okay, like a little bit. Um, because I've had ones before in the past where I've sprayed it and then I can just go as far as there. I love this stuff. It is fab. And those are some of the things that I've loved over the last month. I'm so happy to be back doing the monthly favourites videos. Um, but as I said, I talk about makeup really regularly over on Instagram. So if you want to go follow me, have a look, have a chat. And hopefully I'll be able to do loads more videos here. I'm going to be doing makeup, non-makeup videos. And I'll just, I you'll be sick of looking at me. Because I'm going to be everywhere. I'm going to be on the blog. I'm going to be on YouTube. I'm going to be on Instagram. You'll be sick of me. But still, stay around. Thanks. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.